Hey! Welcome back to Innovative Creator. In 21 days, I was in Kalash. I took one strand of what is there on that mountain. You won't believe it, but in two and a half hours, I was almost 10 to 15 years younger. Hidden deep in the Himalayas is Mount Kash, a place where many people believe the gods live. Besides its high peak and holy reputation, there's a mystery hidden within its old rocks that has puzzled both scientists and spiritual thinkers for ages. On Mount Cash, with an adversary, there's a mountain that is also one of the abodes, like we own different homes. Recently, a brave group of explorers and scientists set off on a journey to uncover Mount Cash secrets. What they discovered inside astonished them, making them rethink everything they believed about history, rocks, and spiritual beliefs. What secrets lay dormant within these ancient walls? Could this discovery hold the key to unlocking the secret of Mount Cash's sacred significance across millennia? Join us as we unravel the secrets of the ancient cave hidden within Mount Kayash in Tibet that defies all logic. The mysteries of Mount Kayash are numerous. Mount Kayash is situated in Tibet's Ngari Prefecture, a region often called the roof of the world. This remote area is famous for its rugged, high-altitude desert landscape, which starkly contrasts with Nepal's lush valleys to the south and the rolling steppes of Central Asia to the north. The mountain itself soars majestically above the barren plain, with the sacred lakes Manasarova and Rakshastal lying at its base. This creates a breathtaking and serene scene, framed by some of the world's most formidable mountain ranges, making Mount Kayash an isolated giant, part of the Trans-Himalayas, a lesser-known but equally dramatic range compared to the famous Himalayas. This seclusion has kept the mountain in pristine condition and added to its mysterious allure. What makes Mount Kash truly unique is not just its stunning landscape but also its profound spiritual significance. This has made it a magnet for pilgrims and adventurers from all over the globe who are drawn by both its beauty and its deep spiritual meaning. Mount Cash's resistance to climbing isn't just due to cultural respect or government regulations, it seems to possess a will of its own. Unlike the mythical Mount Olympus of Greece, where gods reside and mortals are forbidden, Kalash stands aloof, impervious to human conquest. Climbers who approach the mountain often speak of an inexplicable energy, a sense that they are trespassing into a realm not meant for human footsteps. Mount Cash also captivates geologists and scientists. Its pyramidal structure is remarkably symmetrical, leading some to speculate about its formation. There are even theories that it might be a man-made pyramid of ancient origin, although science attributes its shape to natural geological processes. Speaking of ancient structures, the rugged hills of Maharashtra showcase architectural genius and artistic splendor among the 34 rock-cut temples and monasteries at Ellora. The Kayasa Temple, also known as Cave 16, stands out as the crowning glory. This magnificent structure, carved entirely from a single rock, showcases the advanced engineering and artistic skills of 8th-century Indian artisans under the Rashtrakuta dynasty. The Rashtrakuta dynasty ruled large parts of the Indian subcontinent from the 6th to the 10th centuries and was renowned for its patronage of art and culture. King Krishna I, who reigned from 756 to 774 CE, commissioned the construction of the Kayasa Temple. His vision was to build a monument that would mimic Mount Kayash, the mythical home of Lord Shiva in Hindu mythology. The result was a breathtaking structure that broke all the rules of traditional temple construction, setting a new standard for architectural creativity. Unlike conventional buildings that are constructed from the ground up, the Kayasa Temple was carved from the top down out of a single massive basalt rock. This method required incredible precision and planning because any mistake could ruin the entire project. 
The artisans began by carving the roof and slowly worked their way downward, a technique that is both awe-inspiring and mind-boggling given the scale and complexity of the temple. Imagine trying to sculpt a detailed sandcastle starting from the top without being able to fix any mistakes once a part is carved. This was the challenge faced by the artisans of the Kayasa temple. The temple spans an area twice the size of the Parthenon in Athens, standing about 98 feet tall with an overall length of 164 feet. It is estimated that around 200,000 tons of rock were excavated to create this immense structure. The shape of Mount Cash is nothing short of extraordinary. Imagine a colossal pyramid shaped by nature, with each side perfectly aligned with one of the cardinal directions. This geometric precision is rare in natural formations and has sparked numerous theories and speculations. The north face of Mount Kayash stands as the most challenging aspect of this or inspiring mountain range, its sheer cliffs reaching up into the sky presenting a daunting challenge even for the most seasoned climbers. On the other hand, the south face, while equally impressive, offers a more accessible route and is often admired from the comfort of base camps. Completing the picture, the east and west faces form a symmetrical pyramid, creating a surreal and almost otherworldly presence that dominates the landscape. This precise alignment with the cardinal directions fascinates many, some believe it to be a result of unique geological processes, while others see it as evidence of the mountain's sacred and mystical significance. Regardless of the explanations, this alignment only adds to Mount Cash status as a natural wonder and a spiritual beacon. Its surroundings boast a rich and complex geological history, with the mountain primarily composed of granitic and metamorphic rocks, some of the oldest on Earth. These rocks, formed over millions of years under intense heat and pressure deep within the Earth, bear witness to the mountain's ancient origins. The granitic rocks, with their coarse texture, are rich in quartz, felspar, and mica, enduring through time and the harsh climate of the region. Meanwhile, the metamorphic rocks, altered by heat and pressure, showcase a diverse array of textures and compositions, contributing to the rugged beauty of Mount Kayash. Echoes of ancient India, Mount Kayash is one beautiful sight to behold. It's filled with breathtaking landscapes, icy valleys, clear lakes, and the tranquil beauty of nature. Among these wonders are Lake Manasarova and Lake Rakshastal nestled south of Mount Kayash. These lakes, boasting some of the highest freshwater elevations globally, captivate with their pristine waters and peaceful surroundings, adding to the spiritual and natural charm of the region. India's rich cultural and religious heritage spans millennia, dating back at least 5,000 years. Its ancient civilization, which flourished in what is now Pakistan and northwest India, emerged around 2600 BCE along the fertile plains of the Indus Valley. This region, blessed by the Indus River and its branches, provided the perfect setting for early agricultural societies to thrive. As these societies evolved, they merged into the renowned Indus Valley Civilization, also known as the Harappan Civilization. Unlike its contemporaries in Mesopotamia and Egypt, the Indus Valley Civilization distinguished itself through its innovative urban planning, sophisticated architecture, and advanced engineering feats. Cities like Harappa and Mohenjo-daro serve as proof of this civilization's ingenuity, featuring carefully planned street grids, intricate drainage systems, and impressive structures, both public and private. Harappa and Mohenjo-daro, often referred to as the twin jewels of the Indus Valley, offer a glimpse into the daily lives and remarkable achievements of ancient Indians, showcasing their remarkable skill in creating thriving urban centers amidst the ancient world. These ancient cities were carefully planned with streets laid out like modern cities and houses built using baked bricks, even having indoor plumbing, a luxury even today in some places. One remarkable feature was the sophisticated drainage system of Mohenjo-daro, 
where each house was connected to a central sewage system, showing a high level of cleanliness and urban planning. The Great Bath of Mohenjo-Daro, a large public bathing area, indicates the importance of ritual purity and communal life in Harapan society. One of the most captivating mysteries of the Indus Valley civilization is its script. Thousands of inscriptions on seals, pottery, and other artifacts have been found, but the meaning of the script remains a mystery. These confusing symbols offer a glimpse into the daily lives of the ancient Harapans, yet their true meanings still baffle modern scholars. Deciphering the script could reveal countless secrets about the social, economic, and religious practices of this ancient civilization. The economy of the Indus Valley civilization relied heavily on agriculture, with wheat, barley, and peas being the main crops. The fertile plains of the Indus River allowed for surplus production, supporting urban growth and trade. Evidence suggests that the Harapans engaged in extensive trade with neighboring regions, including Mesopotamia, as indicated by the discovery of Indus Valley seals in Mesopotamian cities. The Harapans were talented craftsmen, creating beautiful objects from bronze, gold, and semi-precious stones, showing off their skills in working with metals and making jewelry. They also had a knack for decorating pottery with intricate designs, revealing their artistic flair in everyday items. Unlike some other ancient societies, the Indus Valley civilization didn't have obvious signs of kings, palaces, or grand tombs, hinting at a more egalitarian society where everyone had a similar status. Their houses were similar, suggesting that wealth differences weren't significant, and the items found in graves didn't show a big gap in possessions, indicating a possibly classless society. Daily life in the Indus Valley was likely lively and communal, with large storage buildings indicating well-organized food distribution, possibly run by a government. Their focus on cleanliness and public welfare was evident from public baths and wells. Religion played a big part in their lives, although people are still unsure about many aspects of their beliefs. Overall, the Harapans lived in a society that was rich in culture, where craftsmanship, equality, and community were valued. Many ancient seals have been found, each showing different animals, mythical creatures, and possibly gods and goddesses. This suggests that the people who made them believed in a variety of powerful beings. Take, for instance, the Pashapati seal, it portrays a person sitting in a special yoga pose surrounded by animals. Some experts think this might be an early representation of the Hindu god Shiva. The people of the Harapan civilization were not just busy building cities, they were also quite artistic and creative. They made small statues out of clay, toys for children, and beautiful beadwork, telling us they valued making things and expressing themselves through art. It's even possible they enjoyed music, dancing, and maybe even acting in plays for fun or as part of their religious ceremonies. Around the 19th century BCE, the Indus Valley civilization started to decline. Historians and archaeologists still debate why this happened. It could have been because the climate changed, the rivers shifted their paths, or they used up too many resources. Whatever the reason, the once bustling city slowly emptied as people left to live in smaller villages. This paved the way for new cultures and civilizations to emerge. Even though the Indus Valley civilization faded away, its influence remained strong. It shaped how future Indian civilizations built their cities, designed their buildings, and organized their societies. The spiritual and cultural practices of the Harapans also left a lasting impression, adding to the rich mix of traditions that make up India today. The epic discovery of the Ellora Caves exploring ancient India is like taking a journey back in time. Each artifact, each ruined city, and each monument tell a story of a civilization rich in history, culture, and artistry.